to the center. While I'm on my way to the center, I actually wanted to share with you guys an incident that happened at one of the New York shows. We had just hit intermission and there was a gentleman um, that was sitting in my dressing room crying. He was crying as if, you know, maybe someone close to him had died. I mean, he was, uh, it's hard for him to breathe. After a little while of silence and hugs, while I waited for him to be ready to talk, he expressed he had just introduced two people, two of his subs, uh, for the first time, and he had not been honest with either one of them. He was introducing his new sub to polyamory, and his new sub expressed to him that he, she didn't feel as though he was doming her the way she wished. In search for uh, emotional satisfaction, he started a relationship with a new sub and didn't say to his current sub. He decided to introduce these two finally at my show, and it didn't go over well at all. I can't stress to you guys enough how honesty and transparency is extremely important in polyamorous and BDSM relationships. While some might consider it an alternative lifestyle, um, these trust issues are things that happen in monogamous relationships as well. At the end of our session during my intermission, during the show, we came to the conclusion that he was more upset at himself for not being the dom he wished. No matter what your relationship configuration, we're all susceptible. But the first idea, if you want to move forward, is to forgive yourself for what you thought you should have been. Because you're not going to be able to offer more to others if you don't. Forgiveness is for the forgiver first. And it was a really interesting lesson for us that night. Looks like I'm here, so I'm about to go and see a client. I'll talk to you guys soon.